Hi, my name is Kay, and I'm here at Fine Tune Pilates Studio, and I wanted to talk about bridging. I love bridging. Uh, it's such a great way to just check in with your pelvis, with your alignment, get some hamstring and glute support, and I just wanted to talk about the two different kind of bridges that we see a lot when we do Pilates or other movements, and um, some different variations that you can do and some things to watch out for. So first set yourself up with your feet in front of your sit bones. So just check them out, make sure that they're in a nice parallel and walk yourself down your spine. And have your hands by your sides. Try not to cinch them too much by your sides, but just have them have nice space. So the first bridge I want to talk about is the bridge that you probably mostly do, which is an articulated bridge. So that's when we curl up the spine. So starting from the tailbone, you're going to curl your tail into your legs and start to climb up your spine. Once you get to the top, which is about the shoulder blade area, you're going to roll down, trying to hit each bone on the mat. So I really start from my ribs and try to get each rib on the mat and then each mid back lower back all the way till i hit my pelvis and release and same thing rolling up really hit each bone see if you want to skip any or if you really can articulate all the way up and then articulate breathing down and you can notice it's almost like a abdominal curl where you're rolling up, scooping the belly back, letting the ribs fall back behind you, and then also scooping down. Bridge number two is a levered bridge. So you're really just taking the shape of your pelvis, trying to keep your two hip bones and your pubic bone on one line. And you're gonna press into your feet and just hover that shape a couple inches and then bring it back down. So again, I'm not articulating, but I'm just hovering the shape of my pelvis up and then dropping it back down. And then you can come up a little higher. So levering up, bringing that pelvis into your legs and then levering back down, meaning you're gonna sit in a chair, find some hip creases and sit back down. Climbing up, really levering up, and then levering back down. And you can do variations with that. So you could lever up and roll down. And you could roll up and lever down. And then some variations that you can do as well is you can come up into your bridge. And actually before we do that, while I'm up here, I wanna talk about some things to look out for when you're doing your bridge. So a lot of times what we can see is this overarch in the spine and this very extended back. Now, even though we're capable of doing that, just for practicing purposes of, of functionality and alignment, this really breaks in my spine and you can see that my ribs are forward, my belly's popping out and I'm not really connected to my center. So if you just bring those ribs back down into the mat, really connect with your belly. That gives for a much stable bridge and it's really a lot of work in your, in your glutes and in your hamstrings. And I really like to think of it like a wave. So the wave starts at the top and it goes all the way back down. Also something to watch out for, knees. So a lot of the time we wanna open our knees, keep those knees as best you can really in line with your hip creases and just notice where you are on your feet when you come into your bridge. Do you like to be on the outside or a lot on the inside? Can you find a full foot? A lot of the times we also leave our toes and forget to use our toes. So really make sure those toes are nice and in the mat and then roll down. So for variations, roll up into your bridge or lever, bring your arms up towards the ceiling and this will really test if you've gone up too far. 
And then as you come down, your arms are gonna go back behind your head so you can really traction your spine, feel two long waistlines. Take a big inhale and come back up. Bring those arms and pelvis together. And then pelvis comes down, arms move back. Breathe into those two long waist lines and rolling up. Other variation you can do, bring your arms back down. You can put them on your pelvis or by your side. We're gonna try not to shift our pelvis as we take our leg into the air. When your leg is in the air, you can do little pulses, taking your butt down and up. And then other side. Again, check if your pelvis has moved at all, try to get them in line. And then just down and up. You can also bend the leg if this is too much, so you can have leg bent. Other variation, lifting the heels slightly. Again, feeling your toes. And then last variation, you can twist the pelvis. So now getting a little bit more spiraling action. So my knees stay right where they are. They're only gonna move forward, but not side. And I'm gonna drop my right hip down and then scoop it back up. And then left hip moves down. My knees are not moving away from their two tracks. And then coming down. Okay, I wanna do one more. So last one, a little, ab a little abdominal addition. Um, it's like a little rocket move. You're gonna roll up. Okay, find your stability. Again, you can have leg bent if you want or straight. You're gonna lower your leg and then lift it back up. Inhale and exhale, let that leg drop back and then other side. I'll do it with a bent leg so you can see with a bent leg. You're just gonna tap your toe and back up. Try not to shift your pelvis. Let that leg just drop back. Try to turn off that hip flexor and then coming down. Always even off your pelvis before you come down. Good, and then always just hug your legs into your chest. Give your back a little bit of a break. And that's bridging.